Hey yo. It's Monday, innit? It's still Monday. It's still Monday and it's the 26th of June. It's 1439. We haven't had a minute, have we, today? It's been no, mad. It's been, it's been uh, manic. But I'm not mourning and, and he's not mourning, my you? He'll mourn about all whole bit. Oh, yeah. Mourns in his sleep. So, I'm not mourning. No, no, it's just one of them things. But we're off on our way to Chesterfield. We're looking after a family out there and we're going to uh, Ashgate Hospice. Uh, out that way. Uh, our old Linickers are out that way. They're brilliant Linickers. Anybody from Chesterfield, if you need a funeral director, if you live at Bowlesover or Chesterfield in that area, and you want a proper undertaker, a proper funeral director. Harold Lineker's your man. Brilliant company, seriously. Uh, see, credit where credit's due, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Uh, look after each other. So, off we go. You have a good weekend, Dave? I did, yeah. Did, had a brilliant weekend. Out in Manchester, went to a bingo place. See some of his mates out here, two, two blokes. Uh, good time, weren't it, Dave? Good time, yeah. Great time, honestly. Come back with some great shoes. Uh, I've got a picture of them on my phone, I'll show them you. Maybe another time. Uh, so, high heels, beautiful. Got friendly with a midget and all while, while they were out there. Apparently, I did, yeah. In a quarter yeah. of a mile, do all for a packet of fags. Anything. Bent uh, fags, anything. four quid knockoffs, them forgery things. Anyway, I'll fill you in on that later. So, it's a bit cloudy now, Dave. It was lovely earlier, and it's uh, 20 degrees in Sheffield. This isn't yeah. the weather forecast. We're funeral directors in Sheffield, aren't we? We are. We are. We are. Dave was reading a book at weekend, and all he's told me. What were it, Dave? Exit the roundabout. Can you read that? Uh, Exit the roundabout. Yes. It's not English, that is it? Can't be. It's in now. Go on, Dave, what book was it? Uh, Roses are Red. It's called Roses are Red. Who was it by? I think it's. I think it was James Patterson. I've got a few. So, I got that finished. And I went and bought some more. So, I've got them to read. He loves reading. Right into reading him, he is, honestly. But there is a sequel to that one called Violets of Love. I'm trying to get that so I can read and finish reading it. Like a sequel. It's mean sequel. What's a sequel? It's another book that follows on from the same. So it's not finished, is so, it? Yeah. Yeah. Told me they'd finished it. Well, it's finished that book. But then it's a bit like a street, a like a program they carry on, isn't it? A bit like Coronation Street. So I've got to buy another book now. Ah, well, I don't buy it. Well, I buy it. Three for fifty pence. Three for fifty pence books. But it can't be very big for fifty pence. Not going to get much in a book for fifty pence, sort of. Exit the roundabout. I know. Kino. It's all for charity. It's all for charity. And anyway, roses are red. So what I do is I get on, I'll get three for 50 pence. All right, we don't need to know all about these fucking books. There's been on about them. it for ages. I'll read them and then take them back for them. Does it get the 50p back? I don't know. So they, they're onto a good thing, aren't they, selling these books for 50, 50p each, really? Nice. If, every, if everybody does the same. So if you do that, where's it at, this place where it gets books from? Kilomarsh, it's Bernardo's Charity Shop. Bernardo's Charity Shop at Kilomarsh. If you've 
bought a book called Violets Are Blue from there. Can you hurry up and get it read? Because my mate is waiting to read it. He's read other one, and uh, this is a call out for anybody that's got one. So he's just waiting to do a follow up on uh, Violets Are Blue. Anyway, enough of that. Finishes about the book now and you're reading. I have, I'm going to start another one tonight. We'll deal with that tomorrow. I'll tell you that tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, can't wait, can't wait if you're interested. Of course we're interested, Dave. You know, I think it is. Of course we're interested. Everybody's interested. So, anyway. I don't know why that's come on. Chesterfield's only down road from us. Like we need sat now. Anyway, that's it. It's a different thing. Right, I'm going. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from him. At the roundabout, take the second exit. And it's goodbye from her with that accent. I don't know what accent it is. If anybody can tell what that accent is, uh, answers on a postcard, please. It was a murder mystery book, by the way, weren't it? It were, yeah. He's into murder mysteries. And guess what else he's into? And I'll tell you, we are him telling you. Jigsaws. He loves them. He almost wets his son when he gets an old jigsaw. I, I wondered what you were going to say then. <laughs> jigsaws? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't it's like it. Honest to God, he absolutely loves jigsaws. He does it all, doesn't he? You make that Clarence. Uh, he goes round to his mate's house, Clarence, at night to do jigsaws together. Clarence lives in Killamarsh. He's a transvestite, isn't he? Dawn don't like him going. I thought we'd finished. We've nearly finished. We've said goodbye to him. We're going to say goodbye now then. We'll uh, fill you in on Clarence. Just like David does every Friday night after two pints. He staggers, but Dawn always says, you're not going to be able to do jigsaws, you've done nothing but drink, it's 11 o'clock at night, what are you doing? I've got to go to Clarence's, fill him in, what I've been doing all week. Anyway, Clarence, if you're watching, have a brilliant day. And I'll see you Friday. And Dave will see you Friday. I won't be seeing you Friday. But it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Catch you all later.